Fearless Gamers, Matt here for Fearless Games, and today I'm going to be doing another Vets unboxing. And today we're going to be unboxing the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game Rebel Transport Expansion Pack. This was, if I am correct, one of the first of the Epic Series models, basically a, um, a ship designed more for the just casual fun, no tournaments and such like that. And it features the Rebel Transport ship from Empire Strikes Back and an X-Wing designed after Porkins, the famous stay-on-target um, X-Wing pilot from Episode 4, A New Hope. Um, so, this I just got recently. This is a uh, about a $60, $70 in, um, purchase, depending on where you go. And so let's open it up and see what we get inside. Now, as you can see, the plastic is removed. I did open it up recently just to make sure everything was there. And so let's go and take a real look inside this thing. So we first get in here an instruction booklet, a bunch of templates, cards, um, looks like a sh this looks like oh it's looks like this is like a campaign sheet to um register you know your fleets your costs and such that way you can like do like a campaign with this because that was another thing epic was designed for was to do you know like um weekly campaign type of stuff and let's see we also get some flight stands and eh. Some regular regular flight stand for the X-Wing and some plastic bits for like securing the movement dial and all that. And so, let us first look at the regular stuff. You get the instruction manual. Um, it's just an instruction manual, shows you how to move how the ship works, um, gets you some fancy rules and some new missions, and how the whole epic campaign thing works. So it's standard, um, uh, there's like a mission for the evacuation of Hoth, that's basically your standard, um, your standard instruction manual that um, Fantasy Flight provides with all the um, kits that um, they make. Then let's go and look at the templates, because these things are huge. Let's take a look here. So, we first got this side here, it's got, um, Looks like some radar tokens, some imperial icons of some sort, shields, and energy tokens, so I believe some sort of torpedo token, ion tokens, focus, and whatever this special new um, vehicle piece is. And on the back of it, it's got basically the same thing except it's little hyper hyperspace star lines and rebel icons on there. Okay, that's the first sheet. Then we go on to the second sheet, which is... It looks like it's a bunch of, like, little satellites for mission icons. Um, some tokens, I don't know what they mean yet. Some other tokens that seem to be related to movement. Um, a, B, C, D counters, which I don't know what those are. Um, ship identification numbers. The movement... Um, piece for the new transport because it uses its own special type of movement. And again, another icon, I have no idea what it does yet. Um, sure, there's going to be a lot of you like, you fool, it's this icon, but I just got it. I still haven't read it yet, but still, just as before with anything Fantasy Flight makes, looks beautiful. I mean, great detail on the cardboard's actually really fine quality. Then we've got this piece here which has got more shield icons, more mission-related um, icons up here, um, critical hit icon, the X-Wings um, movement dial, and the GR-75's um, movement dial here, and a target lock, and some stress tokens, and the proof of purchase. And we have one more in here, and that is... It's the... Um, Sheet for the four new, for the, actually, there's one, two, for the eight new X-Wing um, pilots, it looks like, here. Actually, no, um, there's four here, and then there's just um, two of the generic ones, which is the Red Squadron pilot and the Rookie pilot. 
And then the medium transports um, little card thing that sits under its model. So, as per usual, once again, great quality um, images um, that you get on these guys. And the cardstock that they make these out of is actually really decent. Um, I've played a lot of these games that have these like cardboard pieces and they're not always that great, but I've yet to find an issue with these cardboard um, pieces, which I like about them because you want this thing to last since you spend so much money on it. And then we get little mission cards. I'm um, not going to go through them all because there is a lot, but they've got a bunch of what look like, um, let's see, command pod, because, ah, this is um, the damage deck for the medium transport, so whenever the medium transport gets dealt damage, these are the cards you go with, because they are specific to the medium transport's ability, because some of the damage cards that you have don't really affect it since it doesn't have an attack value as far as I'm um, from what I'm reading here. Then we've got just plain um, upgrade cards that could go to the medium transport or the um, X-Wing and again each of them with great card art on them just displaying just how much effort they put in to make sure that this is a fine quality product for what you're paying for. And there's a couple of title cards in there, um, so you can make the medium transport specific medium transports. And then you get um, rules for the ion token. And then a list of rebel ship cards. We've got the generic medium transport card. We've got um, Wes Jensen. Then we've got Jet Porkins, the one everybody wants. Hobby. We've got um, Tarn Misson, or Milson, however you want to pronounce that. Then we've got the Rebel, the Red Squadron and Rookie Squadron um, pilots. Alrighty, so that's it for the cards, and now let us go and look at the model. Well, first, the stands. It uses the same stand that the... it uses two of the two of the um, Millennium Falcon stands, and then they've got these extra flight stands that are remind me a little bit of like like um, the flight stands from Games Workshop's flyers, but they got a trunk in the wash, is how I kind of think of them. And then just the standard X-Wing one. But now let's go on to the models themselves. So once again, as always, they pack these things really nicely so you don't have to worry. And we will look first at Corkin's X-Wing. So again, as with most of them, great detail and great attention to authenticity from the original models that these guys were created off of. And what's neat about it is, again, is, is that they painted it to look just like um, Porkin's um, um, X-Wing. So gets really, so it really stands out so you know which ones are which. And again, just like the attention to detail on, the Z, on these things are just beautiful. I, can ne I can't say how enough how much I love how the um, detail on these things look. And now we've got the medium transport, which is fairly, got a little bit of weight to it. Um, you got the little tiny cockpit right here. That's, you know, it's where they're holding. And then you got this really long piece here all these bumps and grooves and like plating that they put on it and then we've got the engines right here and what i really like is right down here is you actually now can see the cargo pieces that the medium transport is holding and that's really cool especially if um you're new into star wars or if you're y you were young or if you're young where you saw it and you didn't have any idea what those things were on the bottom, you can, now you can see, oh, it's the cargo crates, which is really cool. And weight-wise, it's maybe just a tad bit heavier than the um, Millennium Falcon. And what I also like is just the little 
pieces, the little like mechanics inside there that it really kind of shows off just like how this ship would operate if it was real. And that is the whole kit. So, all in all, I think it's worth the money. It's you get a really cool X-wing, really nice piece, um, piece of um, nice vehicle here. Get a lot of cool tokens and upgrade cards. The rules, from what I've skimmed through, aren't that difficult to master, just like the regular series. And what I like about it the most is, is it kind of establishes from Fantasy Flight to us, the customers, that they understand that there is the tournament sequence. There is the, the scene, sorry, sequence, scene. There's people out there who are just going to want to play competitively and just do it as a competition. And that's what regular X-Wing is for. And then the, this was kind of just a testament to, we understand that there are people out there who just want to play for fun. So here's a whole new set of rules for just having fun with the game. And I think that's the best part because like with a lot of these war games and tabletop games, it's always the tournaments. It's either the tournament scene or the casual play. And it's nice to have a um, game that is accommodating for both sides of the hobby, which is really great. So, all in all, I think it's definitely worth it. I'm glad that I got it. And to those that got it for me, thank you. You guys are great. Um, and yeah, that's all for right now. So if you haven't yet, like us, subscribe, uh, like this video, subscribe to us. And if you haven't, check us out on Facebook. Sometimes we do some fun stuff on that. And that's where you get some of the rumors and little tidbits going on as things go out and see what kind of projects we've been working on before we do videos on them. So once again, thank you all for watching. And until next time, fearless gamers, take care.